Water, the essence of life, a fundamental need for human existence. Our planet, the blue planet, is covered largely with water. The oceans blanket 75% of its surface. In spite of this abundance, we are faced with a growing water problem. Of the Earth's water, 97% is salt water from the oceans. Only 2.5% of the Earth's water is fresh water. And of that amount, approximately 69% is frozen in glaciers and ice caps. That leaves just 0.75% of the world's water in fresh ground water. Where does this water go? Traditionally, most of the water we use in our homes comes from ground water sources, such as wells, or from surface water like rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. On average, humans use 100 to 200 liters of water a day for domestic use. And although a lot of water is consumed by industry, the largest use of water is for producing the products we eat and wear. Consider these facts. It takes 245 liters to produce 0.25 kilograms of wheat. It takes 2,700 liters of water to produce an average size cotton t-shirt. 1,230 liters are required to produce 0.25 kilograms of cheese. And 13,000 liters of water are needed to produce one kilogram of beef. The world's population is expected to grow every year, as much as 40 to 50 percent over the next 50 years. And with it, the demand for water will also rise. But there are issues with our existing water sources, from pollution to climate changes, that are literally drying up our resources and leaks both in our homes and in our aging infrastructure. How then can we solve this critical problem and provide adequate water to a world thirsting for a solution? Water conservation is really a very crucial part of the overall uh, water strategy. Every drop of water that you save is, a, is another drop in supply. We very much encourage water utilities to strengthen their conservation efforts before they turn to desalination. But in many communities, they still need additional water supply even after they have fully considered the conservation measures. There are in fact communities around the world that rely 100% on desalinated water for their supply. Desalination is the process of removing salt from water, also called desalting or desalinization. There are two major processes used to desalinate water, membrane processes and thermal processes. In thermal processes, water is essentially heated to the boiling point. The water vapor rises and condenses into pure water, while impurities are left behind. Membrane processes represent the fastest growing desalination technology. First, the water passes through a sophisticated intake system. In the membrane process, water is pretreated, And then, under high pressure, it passes through a reverse osmosis membrane. The final stage is post-treatment. Over the past several years, the desalination industry has focused on development of technologies that have successfully reduced power consumption and minimized the impact of rising power costs on plant operations. Environmental responsibility is also a top priority. Through technological advances, the industry has developed sophisticated intake designs that protect marine life, as well as improve outfall designs and monitoring techniques. Today's desalination plants are huge and vital pieces of infrastructure. There are nearly 15,000 desalination plants in the world, the largest of which produces more than 900,000 cubic meters of water per day. And planned facilities are even larger, at a million cubic meters per day of capacity. The International Desalination Association, or IDA, is the global hub for the desalination industry. As traditional resources come under increasing pressure, 
Desalination has the power to provide a new and reliable source of fresh water to a thirsty planet. IDA invites you to learn more and discover desalination for a better world.